These are songs for One Life to Live, One Life to Live songs. I'll be back in 10 minutes to sing a song. With name recognition, the ethics, the drive, other than my wife, of course, who doesn't seem to want to bother taking on that pompous windbag. Come on, Charlie. Come on. I have a new husband. You. And I'm happy. I don't want to turn my life upside down. Then, like I said, back somebody else. The thing is, whoever runs against him is going to have to have the support of the town council. Yeah. They have to have enough money to wage a proper campaign. And they have to have the experience to actually make a difference when he or she is elected. And my guess is that's a pretty short list. Do you have any idea what it would do to us, to this family, if I were to run for mayor? No, I don't. Thank you. But I do have a pretty good idea of how things would go if you don't. Four more years of you belly aching about Mayor Lowell, throwing a remote at the TV set. I mean, come on. I married a tiger. Give him hell. I like the way you think him, Jill. Uh, thanks, I think. So if I'm going to be on camera, then we need to find me a love interest. You don't already have one? No, I'm afraid I'm uh, married to the show at the moment. Unless you know someone I can talk to or... No, but I'm sure it can't be that hard. I mean, you just set up something like today, it's hot out, and you're looking like you are, and a girl walks in, and boom! Love at first sight. Kind of like how you did. <laughs> Does that make you my love interest? What's going on? Oh, Marco, I was so worried about you. Rachel said people were shooting at you. Oh, babe, it's okay. No, it's just I, a bunch of noise. But are, are you okay? I mean, where were you? Uh, up at the house with Vickers and Priscilla. You get anything we can use? Uh, it depends. Uh, Rachel and Dr. Evans were working out together. Was it hot? Uh, the AC was on. <laughs> 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 what? I think what Ford was trying to say is if Rachel and Dr. Evans, if there were sparks. Sexual tension. Yeah, I get it. Um, I know what sexual tension looks like. And yeah, there were sparks. Oh, man, how did we ever live without AC? Ice cold rose, I will pour you a glass and then I'm going to jump in the shower. I don't want any wine. Okay, well, I think there's some iced tea left. I'm not thirsty. All right, well, I'm just going to jump in the shower. I need answers, Oliver. About uh, what? You and Kyle Lewis. I told you. I know you did. This time, I want the truth. Even if we don't say Stacy's name, we can't pretend she doesn't exist. Not even for one night. We have to figure out some way to deal with her. Or she's going to ruin us because whether we like it or not, she's pregnant with your child. call first. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is kind of important. Who's this? My best friend from Vegas. Hi. Look, I need to talk to you. She's staying with you at the loft? She's visiting, okay? How about we talk tomorrow at the obstetricians? How about we talk now? This is about the baby. something about this because he... just answer the question you and Kyle we were in college together I told you this before what was your relationship our relationship yes your relationship we were friends and and frat brothers we you know we knew each other we had a couple classes together did he say something to you no then what is all this because you're obviously upset about something do you know how bad this feels to even have to ask you this and to watch you dance around ask me what were you involved with Kyle what do you mean involved? You know exactly what I mean. I just found out from a total stranger that Kyle had a relationship in college with a closet case who became a cop. I need to hear you say it. 
Were you sleeping with Kyle Lewis? Yes or no? Yes. Okay? Yes. So details, Marco. We hear about the hot former addict and the hot neurosurgeon. What went on? Well, by the time Dave and I got there, Rachel was sort of on top of Dr. Evans. They were doing it? I don't know. They were just exercising. That's one way of looking at it. <laughs> you don't understand. They were doing some dance moves to Z-Fit on Z-Box, and they must have uh, lost their balance. Anyway, they ended up on the floor. Wait, you got this on tape, right? What I could. Rachel wasn't exactly on board with the whole reality TV thing. Where's the camera? Uh, Vickers and Priscilla had it. They're out looking for some more hot footage. Which, without me? What can I say, Ford? You were busy. Details, playing. I want to hear about the producer and my hot girlfriend. Oh, please. I came down here looking for you, and he told me that I could hang out till you got back, so we got to talking, and we started... You, know, you started what? Kind of working together. I mean, just shooting ideas around about the show. But he liked what I had to say. Hmm. Which was? He should make it a love story. I mean, I know that's kind of an obvious idea, but... Wait, so you you're wants... working on the show now? Well, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe? I guess if he likes my ideas. But why? Would that be a problem? I know it's tough being away from home. I'm keeping an eye on Star and I hope they're doing okay. How are you doing? I know this can't be easy. The first night was rough. Knowing that I have enough junk in my pocket to make it all go away. It's a, it's a, it's a funny thing, you know, being on the other side of it, knowing that it's just like this stone cold business that really makes you feel like a fool to use. Besides, I, I would never do that to Star. Never, not after she got me clean. Anyway, how, how's my mom? Good. She's back at work. Really? Huh. I didn't know that. I'm a half mile away and I'm miles from home. Be on the moon. Oh, you know. Hang in there, kid. You'll be home sooner than you think. Mayor Lowell, I'd like you to meet my grand niece, Star Manning. It's a pleasure. Uh, you're a student at Landview High? I'm a senior here. Excuse me, I just still need to print out my fall schedule. And I have you down for Tuesdays from 9 to 2. It's already on my calendar. Okay. You're doing some kind of volunteer work at the school? We'd like to call it the Hope Brigade. And it's hardly voluntary. You see, we're all helping to care for Star's baby. Aren't you a little young to be having a child? You're right, I should have called. Oh, but then you wouldn't have been able to spoil our night. And since it's all about you, and I still don't have your name, Bambi, Trixie. It's Kim. Oh, of course it is. I'm the extra walk scientist. At least I'm not a waitress. No, you're a pole dancer, which is what they're calling horses, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Holy crap, you are in kitten. Excuse me? Stacy told me you weren't exactly thrilled about your boyfriend knocking her up, but she never mentioned you were such a bitch. Wasn't your signature say about you? Well, this swooping arc indicates that you are an emotional rock, impervious to life's hardships. But it just breaks your heart that 80 million By Paul children, mostly girls, Halloween, the song do not get to go to school. Created August. Show that you care about women's rights and global poverty. Sign up today at Oxfam.ca. August 27, 2009. Ah! Using the D minor, A minor, and G7. The song is going to be called Don't Get Mimi's get Dander Up. Don't get Mimi's Dander Up now. Don't get Mimi's Dander Up now. Liable to clobber you, go after you, defend her name. She's able to, ought to. 
she's even gay, yeah. Well, she's got another name, it escapes me for the moment, don't know why. On all my, no, on one and restless, on one life to live, on one life to live, me, me, Lockhart, from days of our lives. Yeah, don't lie on her. Otherwise she may retaliate and stand up for her ground and equal one around. And if you have to stand up to her, watch out, yeah, watch out, watch out, watch out.